Hello guys, it's Rad. Welcome to the channel. Welcome to Rad Kutsarot. And this is going to be Cancer Sun, Cancer Moon, and uh, Cancer Rising weekly tarot reading, general weekly tarot reading for uh, March 18th to March uh, 24th, 2019. And as general, this reading is going to resonate in a different way and in a different level with every single uh, different cancers. But if you want more, uh, more personal touch, meaning your personal situation to be analyzed by me through tarot, just like I'm doing for the few examples in this video and to give you a prediction uh, for its future, then that is the subject of a private reading. And for such, you can check out my website, uh, which is listed down below in the description of this video. And on the very front page of it, you're going to find a, a full list of my services as well as their pricing, which is starting for just from just as little as $12 for the reason being, I decided to keep the reduced prices for the month of March as well. For those who haven't uh, yet a chance to take advantage of uh, this sale. So uh, that set aside, going to the Cancer Week, the first card that is going to be, uh, which is the topic of their week, that is going to be the Four of Cups followed by the second card, which is how you should not, how you cancer should not approach the situation of Four of Cups. This is the Ten of Wands. Third card, that is how you should approach the situation. This is going to be uh, the uh, Strength card. <clears throat> and the last one, that is the final outcome of growth. Should you follow the guidance here of Tarot, we do have the Nine of Cups. So once again, Four of Cups, followed by the Ten of Wands, then it is the Strength card, and the last one that we do have for you guys, that is going to be the Nine of Cups. So, uh, <clears throat> as the Four of Cups is on a very, very prime position, uh, this week can be as wonderful as it can, and as well, it can be as boring as it can. It will depend entirely on how uh, aware, or I, I don't know exactly the English word here, guys, but you know uh, how prone you are to seek better future for yourself. That is because with uh, the Four of Cups as a uh, prime position, it signifies that, you know, things aren't moving as much as you would like to um, around or at least throughout the week. And it's basically they are sitting into one same position, just like the man here is uh, is sitting beneath a tree. But also the Four of Cups signifies that there are there is going to be an, an amusing opportunity presenting presenting itself to you coming from the cloud here, holding a, having a hand holding a cup, which is given to you. But in order to seize that opportunity, should I say it that way, one requires to see outside of the boundaries of their nose, if I may express myself that way. So with that statement, this card asks you to be open for surprises. Giving you straight away an example of it, you know, you want to be with uh, you want to be in a relationship with this card being here whom with it does not really matter i mean the focus needs to be on the prime goal rather than on the detail how in this example you want to be in a relationship it may not happen with this guy that you want to be with but it may happen with the other one all right so you are going to have the opportunity here but you got to see outside of, of beyond the boundaries of your nose or your or your current fulcrum to see that there is such an option available um, persisting. It is all about the Four of Cups. Four of Cups represent, um, like I said, sitting on the same place. And if one is not aware that what kind of options available they are chasing are not the only, the only options available out there, one can uh, truly provoke change into the uh, into the boredom that they are experiencing or the halt of the situation that they are experiencing this very moment into their environment either career wise or either relationship wise another another example here is is that <clears throat> let's say you are married you know and uh, you and your wife cannot 
really find something amusing to do. It is because uh, she is denying you going on a cinema. You are denying her going on a, uh, on a dinner in a restaurant. Well, why instead you don't cook the, the dinner at home and watch a movie on TV or just, you know, rent a DVD? That is that you have to be creative when it comes to options available for throughout the week. Now, if you are way too unyielding about your I say I would say expectations, you know, and the way you want to achieve things, then the Four of Cups says that nothing really is going to happen for you throughout the week. It's going to be boring. It's going to be just as generic as one week can be and nothing really exciting is going to happen. So if you want exactly this guy, then you can completely, you know, skip the next card, the next cards that I'm going to be interpreting for you guys. But if you are open for other options available, then here in the next cards, we are going to see how you can capitalize on these options available that you are unaware right now, but you are going to be, but you are going to become aware when the week starts. The accompanied card here, this is going to be the Seven of Cups in the formation that is passive um, supporters. And uh, basically, uh, with the Seven of Cups here, it does point, well, it, it's, it's very difficult to be explained, really. It's, uh, it kind of points that uh, you got to make some, uh, some really bold and it's, it's not really risky moves, but more like moves where the outcome is going to be anybody's guess. So in other words, surprise the, uh, the environment, surprise the universe, so the universe can surprise you as well, if, if that makes sense. Uh, <clears throat> if that makes sense. So you want to have a contribution into a, a certain project, a job, while just hoping for it is not going to help you doing it so, but you got to find a niche that is going to allow you to incorporate in it throughout these cards. This niche, this niche is over there. It is just you got to become aware where the niche is, but it is there. And it will require uh, a different strategy than the strategy that you are thinking is going to be productive at, uh, at this uh, very moment. But in the grand scheme of things, yeah, these cards here as a uh, prime subject of your weak cancers are, are pointing you that you have to basically deviate from uh, your comfort zone, you know, and from your current plan of um, push, pressing forward or rather pushing forward, you know, and explore your surroundings, explore your additional options available and think of how you can make the most out of them because they are there for you. It is just you are not seeing them at, um, at this very moment. And uh, the next card that we do have it is how you should not approach uh, the situation. That is the 10 of uh, wants and 10 of wants is about cultivating a, a great burdens. Um, on our behalf and uh, trying to push or rather like trying to exert a strategy which isn't working as well as can another strategy that it is outside of your comfort zone can work. If that's not a burden, I don't know what that is. What I mean is that let's say, <clears throat> you know, you want to get into this or well, basically, you want to uh, be with a specific person, you know, but you want to happen regard, uh, according to your ter terms, meaning that this person should contact you first or you are expecting them to make the first move. They never make that move throughout this week and you're overburdening yourself thinking that you're doing something wrong and why they're not doing the first move. While if you go outside of your way and you make the, fir and you make the first move, then you're going to lift a, a very, very heavy burden from your shoulders because regardless of the result, at least you are going to know, is it going to work out or is it not going to work out? That is the point of the uh, 10 of, 10 of uh, wands here into this uh, position requesting you to uh, basically settle the score or rather like seek closure with uh, with a certain 
undertakings or enterprises or states, if you want to say it that way, which are keeping you into a limbo, which are keeping you into a, a point where there is no advance whatsoever, like waiting someone to make their move or waiting for an approval and so on and so forth. Instead, you know, you got to make the decisive and determinate actions to sort the situation out or rather like to, uh, you know, to um, settle the thing, to know is it going to work out or is it not going to work out. The accompanied card here, that, that is going to be the uh, Justice card and the formation is Active Friends. And what the Justice here points is that uh, literally the current situation, it is in a, such a state of halt and stillness, not because you contributed into it, you know, it is just, you know, uh, defined from exterior circumstances. Uh, for example, this project that you're trying to involve yourself in just at that at that point just doesn't have a um an open spot for somebody else but if you do something out of your way is going to uh, change the criteria around the uh, around the project for example and is going to open a new spot an additional one it's not like you're going to replace someone someone but you are going to open an additional spot and uh <clears throat> When it comes to relationships with these cards, uh, with this with this card here, you need to be aware that uh, you are doing whatever it is necessary for you to keep the balance into the uh, into the relationship. But because of it, uh, there is nothing exciting in it anymore. And uh, especially when it comes to interactions right now, getting introduced to someone and so on and so forth, the conventional way. The traditional way isn't gonna isn't going to uh, work out because it's going to be boring. It's um, it all points to that, guys, that you need to seek throughout the week a, a quick and swift closure to know straight away is it gonna work out or is it not gonna work out. And if it is not gonna work out, you jump into the other option available straight away. An example that is quite me, by the way. Uh, let's say that I. Um, kind of like being attracted from a specific girl, I would take her only once a date and on the second date, I would I will ask her, what do you think, you know, is, do you have an attraction or do you not have an attraction? If you don't have an attraction, we are wasting time, so we're not going to date anymore. But if you do, so we can continue. It is something that you need to incorporate here uh, as well, so you don't get yourself stuck into a, a magic circle. It's all, it's all about that and uh, <clears throat> presenting yourself interesting, presenting yourself, you know, uh, agile when it comes to enterprises and when it comes to as well taking responsibility and being balanced, that is also another thing is going to bear um, great results, meaning that, uh, you know, you should not kind of keep yourself into a certain framework. Giving you another example straight away with that is, uh, for example, I don't know, allowing person um, into your world only if they propose your marriage. So you have to give up on already outdated, let's say, criterias and standpoints if you do have any, which uh, from another from another hand, the reading could uh, asks you could be just to ask you to think about what is holding you back. What is the burdens that you are carrying from the past? <clears throat> which are uh, not allowing you to involve yourself emotionally with someone that could be, for example, a poignant relationship result from a divorce and so on and so forth, uh, you know, or uh, it could be once again, an unyielding criteria <clears throat> and uh, deliberate yourself from this burden by going outside of the framework of those poignant experiences that you do had in the past once again, but uh, definitely throughout the week, there are going to be many things moving around. And if you are feeling that nothing really exciting is happening for you throughout the week, it will, uh, or in your life, excuse me, throughout this week, there will be an exciting enterprise. It just, it will require from you to um, once again, act outside of your way to take advantage of it. Uh, for example, completely spontaneously, someone from your social circle could tell you that they bought uh, two tickets 
for a, a journey in, I don't know, Africa, but um, uh, the person that they meant the second ticket for bailed out and they have an empty spot. So it's completely spontaneous. It goes outside of your way. You should take it, you know, to just dapple your environment with versatility. And uh, speaking of which, that leads us to the third card here, which is the, um, the strength card. So the strength card points that you have to face whatever it is outside of your comfort zone, that it is kind of trying to burst in uh, with a great amount of enthusiasm. It is basically you have to be ready to explore or determined to explore things around you, options available around you, different people to be with, different projects to be involved, um, involved in as well, different jobs also, that, that could be as well a, um, a criteria of yours. The thing with the, uh, with the strength card is that only passion and uh, how can I place it, enthusiasm could truly break through the uh, boredom and the, how, uh, and the stillness the hotness of the situation that you are finding yourself at, either regarding your marriage or either regarding uh, your career. It is all about that, guys, finding something exciting to do throughout the week. Once you do so, uh, you have to allow your charisma and uh, your influence to speak for you instead of trying to convince everybody with words about your righteousness or, in other words, why you want to do that. For example, you <clears throat> are kind of like... Uh, you take the offer for Africa and you show to the world how uh, pleased you are to the, and you looking forward for the journey that it is yet to come. So your uh, joy and your glee of the journey itself shows to the people how much you want it instead of trying to convince them with words. Same thing goes regarding career, same thing goes regarding relationship. If you want to have a harmonious relationship, show to this person how enthusiastic you are to be around them and how much joy and confidence you do have when, when they are around you as well and so on and so forth. My point here, guys, is that saying someone that you love them or trying to explain yourself why you want to be with them is not going to mean much. Actions, it is what is going to mean a lot here. So in this week, action speaks much louder than the words. And the accompanied card, that is going to be the... Uh, Ace of Pentacles, the formation is active neutrals. So uh, with the Ace of Pentacles, it is unlikely that things are gonna go, you know, as smooth as possible here. Definitely there are gonna be ups and downs into the situation, but as, it, as in a positive position, these ups and downs are definitely going to allow you to discover this rare opportunity to further your goal. And what I'm talking about is the prime goal. Not being with specific person, but being with someone, being loved, being happy, being in a relationship. Not being in a specific project, but being in a project of the same magnitude. So this is what you need to focus on here in order to break free from the stillness and the hardness of that you're finding yourself at, okay? Being stubborn on the criterias could play you, uh, what we say, a, a bare joke or a bare favor. That is what we say it here in my country, but I would say a bad joke or a bad favor. So um, my point is that you need to be more focused upon the results rather than on how you're gonna get there. Once you're focused more on the results, you are going to see, guys, counselors, that there are so many other ways than your initial uh, expectations of how you can get to that point being loved, being lucrative, you know, being with a good job, uh, being among people that loves you and so on and so forth. But with the strength card <clears throat> here with the Ace of Pentacles, uh, you need to seek the points of enthusiasm. So whatever thing, uh, it, it looks boring to you and it looks way too um, slowly developing as well, it should be completely neglected and uh, discarded from the options available, uh, if I may uh, place myself that way. But should you press forward with enthusiasm and with the determination, uh, there is no doubt that at the end of the day, 
uh, you're going to end up in a very harmonious relationship, not necessarily intimate one, and also with some uh, very good established business maneuvers uh, out there. And uh, should you follow the guidance of Tarot here, the last card that is going to be the Nine of Cups, and it's not secret for anybody that this card it is a, a very positive one. First of all, it does speak that the fortune itself is going to have your back, meaning that whatever you touch simply is going to happen, and that is because you're going to be enthusiastic about it. When someone jump, jumps with enthusiasm into something, even the failures can be traversed into a big success. And it is what's going to happen. So with the Nine of Cups, uh, <clears throat> at the end of the week, should you follow here the guidance, uh, your life will be much more fulfilled than uh, when you start the week as well. You're going to have something to look forward to, something to develop. And uh, as well, there will be a sens uh, sensual joy that you're going to experience from your uh, involvement into the new relationships, uh, new projects that you're going to find yourself at, because they're going to be very interesting. Like I said, you have to go outside of your way, meaning that you will have, you will have to tackle with situations that you never experienced before. So it's again, exploration, you know, adaptation and so on and so forth. But all that is going to be very, very interesting for you. And uh, with the Nine of Cups, however, what you're going to achieve at the end of the week is going to be um, a good achievement, good conquest. Like I said, it's going to uh, provoke glee within you. But in order for you to uh, make, to traverse it into a long-term happiness or something that it is uh, that can be developed in the long run, uh, it, will, it will require from you to secure it. Therefore, even if the achievement is good, you should not stop solidifying it, if I may express myself that way, or working upon it. So uh, just to give you an example of that, let's say that you start dating with someone, just because you're dating with someone, don't think that this is going to end up just by itself into a relationship, but you need to keep on feeding this dating stage and so on and so forth. Same goes uh, regarding career and regarding friendships. The accompanied card here that is going to be the temperance, the formation is uh, passive enemies. And uh, uh, the temperance adds only one word here, extreme. So we do have an extreme pleasure we do have an extreme happiness that you are to experience at the end of the week. Should you follow, however, the guidance of Tarot once again, uh, Cancers, it is because, like I said at the start, the Four of Cups is very, very conditional card. Meaning that if you don't want to step outside of your way, if you don't want to explore and you don't want to how can I place a, you know, abandon uh, certain positions and readopt them with another? Nothing really is going to happen. So in this uh, case or in this week, the faith is going to favor the bold. And I hope that you're bold enough to provoke the so necessary fresh wind that you require in your life regarding your career or regarding your relationships as well. So that being said, Cancers, this was your weekly tarot reading for March 18 to March, to March 24th, 2019. I hope you enjoyed it and you liked it, guys. And as a general reading, it's going to resonate in a different way and uh, in a different level with every single different Cancer. Uh, if you want more personal touch, however, meaning your personal... Um, situation to be analyzed by me through tarot and to give you a prediction for it for the future just like i did for the few examples in this video uh, then that is a subject of a private reading and for such uh, you can check out my website which is listed down below in the description of this video and there on the very front page you're gonna find full list of my services as well as their pricing which starts from just as little as uh, 12 dollars as i decided to keep the reduced prices for the month of march as well so uh, as many people as possible can take advantage of uh, them so rat signing out now see you next time bye